In this tech tip, you will learn the toolpath optimization process by specifying cut area method in NX 2306 CAM application. The use of cut area method provides more control over the toolpath and can eliminate the need to create extra geometry to drive the tool. So to begin with, open the part file called cutarea.prt in NX2306 CAM application that is in the context of machining as I have shown here. Now as you can observe here that this part already has defined operations in it as you can see here. So these are some of the advanced surface contouring operations in which our focus in this tech trip is on the first operation that is fixed contour slot operation. So therefore, edit this operation called as the fixed contour slot operation that is the first operation by right clicking on it and clicking on edit. So here you can see that the fixed contour slot operation window has been opened. Now here under the actions tab, generate the operation by clicking on this generate menu and if you see the toolpath, you can observe that the toolpath dips into the pocket that is here in the pocket as you can see here and this has serious implications majorly the two implications are one this is the unnecessary movement of the tool which leads to the loss of productivity second is the sudden dip of the tool may break the tool tip so thus this is not the desired tool path so thus here there is a need to optimize the tool path in such a manner that there is no unnecessary movement of the tool and also there is no harm to the tool so to begin the optimization click on the geometry tab and in the geometry tab click on the option called as specify cut area where we will specify the required cut areas here so in this cut area window click on the select object pane and select the cut areas that you are desired so i am selecting this contour that is a slot and this one slot so after selecting the cut areas click ok now you can verify here by clicking on this display icon of the specify cut area window that when i click it can display the specified cut areas now generate the operation again and observe the toolpath so now here no doubt the toolpath is not dipping into the pocket but as you can see here there is a retraction and this retraction is unnecessary retraction as if you observe this toolpath the tool is retracting up traversing in this fashion and again going to the second phase of the cut area so this retraction again it is unnecessary thing which again leads to loss of productivity so therefore there is a need to eliminate this unnecessary re retraction and we need to still optimize the tool path in such a manner that after finishing the first phase of the cut area it should directly smoothly go to the second phase of the cut area so that should be the ideal tool path which we will try to get here so expand this option or this pane here called as non cutting moves and here click on one more option called as transfer or rapid tab and here as you can see we need to optimize the tool path here which is in between the cut regions or in between the regions so therefore expand the between regions option and again expand the traverse command and here in the traverse type select the traverse type as direct and again generate the operation now you can see that neither there is unnecessary upward retraction of the tool path nor there is dipping of the tool path that is happening here so here you can see that the tool path is smooth and it is smoothly transitioning from first part of the cut area to the second part of the cut area which is the desired tool path and thus the tool path has been optimized so to again verify the tool path first generate the operation again and then click on verify option under the action tab and then click on 3d dynamic option in the tool path visualization window then select the required animation speed here i am selecting one to get the detailed animation of the toolpath traversal then when i click the play option 
here it shows that no blank and the blank required for application zero so therefore click ok and select the desired blank geometry that you want now here for the time being i am selecting the bounding block and i am okay with the coordinates system but here you can choose the desired coordinates for the blank after selecting the blank geometry options click ok and here you can see that the tool is traversing smoothly and it is now cutting the required area that is the specified cut area smoothly in a desired tool path so this is all about the optimization of the tool path by using specifying cut area method thank you and to explore more such fascinating concepts in nx please log in to www.myigadget.com and explore the tremendous and fascinating knowledge